My family has been plowing and planting every spring for generations. I inherited this history, and I just about ended the whole thing. We were a family of five, but my dad got diabetes, so here I was, just a kid, when my father was dying. With my father gone, all the farm work fell on my shoulders. My whole life I've been in the struggle between my love for soil and my love for expression and creativity. In the 60s, all sorts of people came to my farm. Hippies, radicals, philosophers. Well, what's going on in the area was the biggest question. One of the local women told me to stay away because it was a weird place and the farmer was up to strange things. Satan worship, drug running, orgies. Well, I didn't say anything about any orgies. In the 70s, debt financed my dream, then my nightmare. Thousands of family farms have gone out of business in the last few years. To pay my debts, I had to sell almost all of my land. I felt like I'd let my father down. I slept for two years, tormented by depression. When I finally could get up, I was inspired by a deep impulse towards allowing crops to grow organically. My farm was calling me home. You could not find an organic vegetable, let alone an organic farmer in the Midwest. I think raising crops under the influence of chemicals plays absolute havoc with the planet. For years we toiled. There was weaving, invasions of insects, floods. We had about every kind of scourge the Bible mentioned. What do you do when nothing is left? And in a community where you aren't welcome because you're kind of different. There's a kind of feeling of theater, feeling of drama with farming. So it all tastes good today.